The M&P 15 from Smith & Wesson coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. During the quarantine, my editor asked me to review a ton of black rifles. I cried myself to sleep. I got another one for you right now to try out. Having a lot of fun with these black rifle reviews. Today we're looking at the Smith & Wesson m and 15. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna get it out to the range and help you decide if this AR is right for you. Shout out to Gun Prime for loaning me this rifle. You can find them over at gunprime.com. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always, you know what I'm about to say, we put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out, including a link in there that's gonna jump over to our website. Once you get on our website, look around. A lot of stuff up above and down below to help you out in the bang department. So Smith & Wesson has a massive line of AR-15s. This one is from the M&P 15 line. It's called the Sport 2. But even in the Sport 2s, there's like 20 some different configurations. It can be a little bit overwhelming. But they're essentially all the same rifle with just a few different add-ons. It's essentially an AR-15 chambered in 5.56. Now the one that I got has a short rail up top and a short handguard and it comes with a red dot. Now the Sport 2 is 47 strawberries long. It weighs in at six pounds and some change, so it's pretty light. The barrel sports an A2 style bird cage and it's overall 16 inches long, that's the barrel, but overall it's a bunch of strawberries. Now, for all of you operators, the gas block has an extra rail on it so you can accessorize. Now the one that I got has a flat top, a really short flat top, but it also comes with a crimson trace red and green dot in 1X. It's a neat little red dot that has a riser already installed. I'm a big fan of red dot risers. What it comes with is a cardboard box and a 30 round magazine. That's all industry standard stuff, but this rifle is ready to go right out of that box. I think as a first AR, it's probably gonna be a good fit for a lot of folks because of that very reason. Just add in ammo and head straight to the range. Now the functionality is gonna be completely mil-spec AR. The controls are gonna feel familiar on day one. It's got an adjustable stock and it sports a mil-spec grip. I think the aesthetics are okay. I'm gonna call it okay. I do like the classic Smith & Wesson roll mark on one side, but maybe that giant M&P logo on the other side is a little bit obnoxious. Nothing that a Sharpie and a little willpower can't fix. Current MSRP is tested as 711, and that comes with the red dot, but the street price, I've seen it online for as low as high 500s, 580, 590, somewhere in there. All right, let's get out to the range. For this test, I used every different magazine that I could find in the shop, and they all ran fantastically. And for ammo, I know this is gonna shock some of you regular viewers. Yep, I used Federal American Eagle and some Russian Barnall steel-cased ammo. Both are 55 grain in full metal jacket. And as far as reliability, no major problems. The gun ran great. It's a Smith & Wesson rifle, of course it's gonna run great. I did have one failure to eject, but with a brand new rifle, I'm gonna call that forgivable. The trigger on a mil-spec rifle like this one is, yep, you guessed it, it's mil-spec. So it's not really that great, but I'm gonna call it serviceable. Funny thing on this one, the trigger pins did wanna work their way out just a little bit on me. And I got a question for all of y'all on that one coming up here in just a minute. Now, like all ARs, the Sport 2 is not made to shoot in the half mile sub MOA category. So I just set up some torso steel and I went to town. You can absolutely drive nails at shorter distances with what I'm gonna call ease. And I also did not see any difference in accuracy between the ammunition types. Both were about three MOA for me, which I'm gonna call just fine. Okay, let me tell you what I like. First, it's that Smith & Wesson name. You know it's gonna run and it runs. Second, I do like that little crimson red dot that it came with, it's easy to use. Now keep in mind that that giant green dot that you're seeing there, that's just my camera being funny. In person, the red dot is tiny and crisp. Finally, there's something to be said for a bare bones AR. I think it's a great truck gun or a farm rifle, just to grab it and go. 
And again, I do think it's perfect as a first rifle for new AR owners. Now, as far as the drawbacks, I do think that the shortcomings on this rifle are in the mill spec area. For example, that thin plastic on the handguard got crazy hot at the range, and I wasn't really mag dumping or doing anything out of the ordinary of my regular normal testing routine and that guard got absolutely untouchable towards the end. So if you're gonna get this rifle, you might consider a handguard upgrade, super easy fix, or just burn less ammo. Now let's talk about that trigger. The pins, again, they did try to back out on me just a little bit. It was an easy fix, but what I did instead was to install the new Palmetto State Armory drop-in trigger. I know absolutely nothing about this trigger except that it's blue, but my first impression is that the brake is a huge improvement, and I'm really excited to get that one out to the range and give it a try. But my question of the day for all of y'all is right there. What recommendations do y'all have for me for controlling those trigger pins? The stock trigger pins, they walked out a little bit on me. How do y'all address an issue like this with your personal rifles? Leave me a comment right down below and let's have a conversation. But overall, I had a lot of fun with the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport 2. It's certainly serviceable. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. So from me, a big thumbs up. Also, a big thank you to GunPrime.com for the loaner. And on behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny and we'll see you soon.